Hi, I'm Joe O'Connor, Managing Editor for Mountain Journal, and uh, we are approaching Give Big Gallatin Valley, uh, which starts on May 4th. It's 24 hours of giving, and uh, we had talked about speaking with um, with One Valley Community Foundation Bridget uh, CEO and President Bridget Wilkinson, uh, and Bridget is on maternity leave. So standing in for her is Ms. Jill Elwood, Nonprofit Programming and Relations Manager with One Valley Community Foundation. Jill, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, so Jill, you are now in your third year uh, with Give Big Gallatin Valley. Tell us a little about the uh, the program, the event, and why it's important. Absolutely. Um, so yes, this is my third year as the kind of host behind Give Big Gallatin Valley. It is the ninth year that One Valley Community Foundation has hosted it. And really, we're just so honored and humbled to be able to bring this to our community. This Giving Day really represents uh, an opportunity for the community to come together and let the nonprofit sector know that we support them and we see the important work that they are doing and we appreciate it. And I think it's really just an opportunity for the community to come together and get to choose what, what kind of community they want to live in. So uh, we're honored to get to bring it to the community and watch it grow every year. Well, we're excited that you guys are taking the reins on it and have for a while. Um, so there is, so just to give people, clue people in. So it's a 24 hour window to give. Um, where did the concept for big, for Give Big originate? So Give Big is our local giving day, but giving days happen across the country. So our president and CEO, Bridget, saw giving days starting to pop up in some of the bigger cities and other parts of the country, and she had a vision to bring it here to the Gallatin Valley. And so in 2015, uh, she brought our first Give Big, and year one, the goal was to raise $100,000 for 100 nonprofits. And 100 nonprofits signed up and Gallatin Valley, just with all of their amazing generosity, blew their goal out of the water and raised over $230,000 the first year. Wow. And um, last year, we had 230 nonprofits and the community came together to raise $2.87 So each year, it's just really um, awesome to see the generosity of the community. But I, I really credit our president and CEO for having the vision for bringing it to our community and our community just getting behind the initiative with so much enthusiasm has been great. Nice. Uh, well, it's grown quite a bit. Um, so you, as you said, uh, Give Big started in Gallatin Valley in 2015 and has since raised more than $11 million uh, for area nonprofits. What makes this event successful? You know, it's funny you ask that. I get asked that question quite a bit from other communities that are a similar size as ours, because Gallatin County is big, but not huge. Mm -hmm. And I think comparatively to some other communities across the country, uh, folks have taken notice of how much our giving day has grown. And I credit it completely to our nonprofits and our community. I mean, we provide this tool but ultimately it's the nonprofits who take this tool and really run with it with enthusiasm and joy. And they reach out to their supporters and their circles of, you know, their volunteers then reach out to their families. And I think it really speaks to the spirit of Montana and the spirit of Gallatin County that people are so excited to support the work being done here um, because not all communities of this size can come together in the way that Gallatin Gallatin County has. So I really think it's just the community spirit and the enthusiasm of our nonprofit partners that have allowed this initiative to get as big as it has so far. Well, and, then, and it certainly has grown. Um, last year alone, almost $3 million. What is your goal for this year and what adjustments have you made to get there? Absolutely. So our goal for this year, even though it scares me a little bit to say it out loud, <laughs> is to bring the community together to raise $3 million for local nonprofits in 24 hours. Last year, we were just shy of 2.9 million, and I really believe that our community can break that $3 million mark this year. 
Um, one of the main things we've done this year to kind of reach that goal, we've done a couple things, but first of all, we've invited more nonprofits to join. So this year we have a record breaking 250 nonprofits participating in the event. Last year we had 230. So we have, um, we have over 30 nonprofits that are participating for their first time this year, and we are thrilled to have them join and get to experience this event. Um, and then we at the One Valley Community Foundation are doing everything we can to get the word out. We have so many new community members who are joining us here in Gallatin County and community members who have been here for a while that maybe haven't heard of it. So we are just marketing give big in every way we can think of to try to get the support back to our local nonprofits. <laughs> nice. Um, well, what feedback have you heard from participating nonprofits over the years? Absolutely. Um, you know, the event has looked a lot of different ways. The first year it was obviously a lot smaller and then it's grown and then we went through COVID and now we're kind of on this new trajectory of trying to provide a tool that's really useful for our nonprofits. Um, but I think the main feedback we hear from our nonprofits is just that this gets them you know, so much closer to being able to complete a fundraiser. The majority of funds that come in for nonprofits come in between Thanksgiving and the end of the year. That tends to be like the main time for giving. And so springtime is really when nonprofits need an initial, an additional boost of support and an additional boost of funding. And every year we hear from nonprofits, like they're busy running their programs. So they don't have the time and capacity to build a fundraiser from the ground up this time of year. And so we consistently hear from nonprofits that this allows them to host a full-size fundraiser while doing part of the work. Like, you know, we build the platform and do a lot of the marketing so that they can reap the benefits while putting in frankly, a lot of work, but not as much as they would need to if it weren't if it weren't this community event. Um, the other thing we hear from them consistently is that this is an opportunity for them to collaborate. We have over 90 events happening in the community over the 24 hour period of Give Big. And many, many of those are collaborations between local nonprofits. I think nonprofits often kind of like do their own thing, do their own event. And for Give Big, we see dozens of nonprofits saying like, hey, let's get two or three or seven nonprofits together to support one another and to celebrate with one another and to introduce our circles of supporters to the work that you're doing because we want to support that as well. Terrific. Give Big Gallatin Valley uh, has, is happening this May 4th to May 5th. Uh, it starts on, at 6 p.m. on May 4th, ends at 6 p.m. on May 5th. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of nonprofits out there uh, looking for uh, support. Um, so feel free to give and give big. Uh, Jill Elwood, nonprofit programming and relations manager for One Valley Community Foundation. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you for having me. Take care. Thanks.